Hey, it's Julian out here in Bangkok, Thailand. And in this video, I'm going to talk about 10 questions that you should ask yourself before you move to Thailand. So if that's something that interests you, make sure to stick around until the end of this video. So the very first question that you should ask yourself before you move to Thailand is, will I have a steady source of income? So this is very important if you're planning to move out to Thailand full time, because if you don't have a steady source of income, your time out here will not be very enjoyable. So make sure before you move out to Thailand, you have some form of steady income, whether that be stock dividends, real estate rentals, or maybe you have some sort of online business that you could get money coming in every month. So just make sure before you move to Thailand, you have something set up uh, out in Thailand that you have money coming in every single month. And if you don't have some sort of passive income coming in, then make sure you have some sort of job lined up uh, before you make the move out to Thailand. Because a lot of people think that, oh, I'm, you know, I graduated from school in, in America, I'm going to get a job real easily out in Thailand, but it doesn't always work that way. Or it might not, it, maybe you will get a job, but it might not be a very good paying job. So just keep that in mind if you're planning to move out to Thailand, make sure that you have some sort of steady income before you come to Thailand. The second question that you should ask yourself before you move to Thailand is where will I stay in Thailand? So this is very important that you have some sort of housing set up before you move to Thailand because if you just come straight off the plane and you're like, okay, now where I'm going to stay, uh, it's going to be very expensive for you to do it that way. So make sure you either have friends or family that you could stay with in Thailand or if you don't have any friends or family in Thailand, make sure to set up some kind of appointment with a realtor out here in Thailand and you can uh, schedule some appointments to go look at some condos or some houses while you're out here and hopefully you get a, get a place uh, pretty quickly. Most of the condos and houses, they want you to sign a minimum uh, six month lease. Uh, most of them actually want you to sign a minimum one year lease, but you could get away with some that are signing uh, six month leases, but anything less than six month leases, let's say like a month to month thing, uh, those are gonna be more apartments and those are gonna be kind of expensive. Some apartments are pretty cheap, but most of the apartments are gonna be more expensive than if you rent a place with a one year contract or so. So just keep that in mind. And before we move on to number three, I wanted to include this too, is most landlords out here want to see a two months rent security deposit and they also want you to pay the first month's rent up front. So just keep that in mind. If you're trying to get a rental out here in Bangkok, it's gonna cost you about three months rent up front. So just keep that in mind. So the third question that you should ask yourself before you move to Thailand is what visa requirements do I need? So me personally, I'm lucky, I, you know, I'm a Thai citizen, so I'm able to stay out here for as long as I want. But if you're not a Thai citizen, uh, this is definitely something that you should ask yourself is what visa requirements do I need? I know if you're trying to get a work permit out here, I believe that you can stay in Thailand for one year, which is pretty good. But if you wanted to stay in Thailand, let's say for a couple months, then maybe you could get some kind of maybe a extended tourist visa or something like that. Um, because if you don't get a visa, you can only stay in Thailand, I believe, for 30 days. So just keep that in mind. If you are planning to come to Thailand, make sure to double check any visa requirements that you need to get before you come to Thailand. And the fourth question that you should ask yourself is, do I speak the Thai language? And this is very important if you're planning to stay out here full time because if you don't know any Thai at all, it's going to be very difficult for you to live out in Thailand. I'm just being honest. Uh, some of my friends who came from America and they ended up moving to Japan, they actually learned a lot about the Japanese language. So when they actually went to Japan, they didn't have to worry about really, you know, trying to uh, speak English in Japan. And I actually went to Japan for a couple uh, hours because I had a super long layover in Japan and I was really surprised with um, how little people knew how to speak English when I was in Japan so I had a really hard time getting around Japan and that was my first time in Japan and uh, I can just say from personal experience it's going to be a lot harder to live in Thailand if you don't actually speak the Thai language so just keep that in mind um, I recommend you learn at least some basic Thai uh, you know like uh, where's the bathroom how much is this um, you know, stuff, stuff like that, like basic stuff like that, that you can at least get by. So just keep that in mind. If you're moving to Thailand, uh, ask yourself, am I willing to learn, uh, the Thai language or at least at a very minimum, at least learn basic Thai. 
And the fifth question that you should ask yourself is, am I okay with being away from friends and family? So this is a very important question that you should ask yourself because me personally, I actually miss a lot of my friends and family back in America. You know, luckily I get to see them every, every year or every couple of years or something like that. But just keep that in mind that if you are moving to Thailand, you're gonna miss your family, you're gonna miss your friends and you might even get a little homesick. Uh, so just keep that in mind. If you're someone who's kind of more like a loner and you don't really have a lot of friends and family, then maybe this lifestyle might be perfect for you. But if you have a lot of friends and family back in wherever your home country is, you definitely could feel a little lonely after a few years or a few months uh, in a different country. So just keep that in mind. If you are planning to move to Thailand, you should ask yourself that question is, how often do I want to see my friends and family? Um, me personally, I do know my one of my friends uh, he goes back to America every two months. So that's pretty pretty amazing. Uh, he has the money to do something like that, but not everybody has the opportunity to be able to go back from Thailand to America every every two months because that plane ticket's about two thousand dollars every every trip, you know. But you know, if you can afford it, then uh, that's definitely an option that you could do to make sure that you can see your friends and family throughout the year. The sixth question that you should ask yourself is do I know anything about the Thai culture? And this is very important if you're planning to move to Thailand full time because Thai, Thailand culture and American culture or wherever country you're coming from, especially in the Western uh, countries, it's going to be completely different than your home country. Uh, first time I came out to Thailand, I was actually shocked about how different the culture was. It was called, um, I think in business terms, it's called culture shock. And then when I went from Thailand back to America, I had culture shock when I was back in America, which is called reverse culture shock. So it's just kind of funny that, uh, you know, I had I had that experience when I you know went to the different countries. But for example, there's something that uh, a lot of Americans might not think is a big deal. But in Thailand, you're not supposed to lift your feet up and have the sole of your foot facing someone's face. So that's actually if you do that out in Thailand, that's considered very disrespectful. So just keep that in mind, Thai culture and American culture is completely different. Like don't don't even think that it's the same because it's it's completely different. So just be aware if you're coming out to Thailand, be aware of some of the, you know, the culture differences between your home country and Thailand because you don't want to offend anybody and uh, get beat up. <laughs> the seventh question that you should ask yourself is me personally, I think is a very, very important question you need to ask yourself. And that is what kind of lifestyle am I realistically expecting to live in Thailand? So just be aware of that. You know, you might hear stories from your friends saying, oh, I moved to Thailand. I was living like a king, but that person might have not said that. Oh yeah, I make $10,000 a month. You know, just, just be aware of that. Yeah. Uh, whatever that person's saying is based on their story. So just be aware of that. You need to be honest with yourself and ask yourself, what kind of lifestyle are you looking to live in Thailand? Uh, you can live in Thailand for $500 a month. And that is a reality that you can live in Thailand for $500 a month. But also just know that that's not gonna be the most luxurious lifestyle in the world. You can also live in Thailand on $10,000 a month and that's gonna be kind of like a baller lifestyle, which your friend might have said you know, maybe he, he left out that part that he makes $10,000 a month. But either way, if you can find a way to get money coming in from your home country into Thailand, uh, let's say some kind of online business or whatever, you can definitely live in Thailand for $500 a month. Is it going to be the most uh, luxurious, you know, flashy lifestyle? No, it's not. But if you can be honest with yourself and say, okay, you know, I, I'm, I can make $500 a month and I can live in Thailand on this lifestyle, uh, you know, that, that's fine. But also you have to be honest with yourself that, oh, if I want my lifestyle to increase more than that, I'm gonna have to find a way to make more money each month. So just keep that in mind, just be honest with yourself, ask yourself what are your priorities in life and uh, what kind of lifestyle you wanna live in Thailand. And as long as you're honest, I think you'll be fine. And then you'll be able to figure out how much money you need to make each month to sustain that lifestyle that you wanna live in Thailand. The eighth question that I think you should ask yourself is what do I want to get out of living uh, life abroad? So this is a very important question that you should ask yourself. And me personally, when I was living in America, you know, I lived in America for almost what, 20, 23 years, 22 years, whatever it was. And uh, I went to school in America. I did, I did all that. 
Um, I'm actually, for those of you who don't know, I'm actually a graduate. I graduated from UNLV with a degree in business administration. Um, but at that time when I graduated, I wanted to just start a whole new life overseas. So me personally, it was just something kind of a new, a new uh, milestone in my life that I wanted to do. You know, I felt like, okay, I've been in America for so long. Let's see how life is in Thailand. And me personally, I have no regrets. I'm, I'm really, really happy out here. I'm, you know, I'm very, very thankful that I had this opportunity to be able to do this. And uh, I just wanted to let you know that this is a question that you should ask yourself is what do I want to get out of staying in Thailand? You know, I've met some uh, Americans who are from America and they moved out to Thailand for a one year on a work permit. And, you know, just talking with them, I kind of got an understanding of what they wanted to do. You know, kind of a similar story to me. They stayed in America for a very long time and they wanted to see how life was in a different country because they never even left the country before. And you know what the funny thing is, is a lot of people who leave their home country and go to one of these Southeast Asian countries, they never want to go back to their home country. You know, they just keep getting work permits over and over and they stay out for in the Thailand or the Philippines for you know, 20, 25, 30 years. So just keep that in mind. Make sure you ask yourself that question is uh, how, what am I trying to get out of this trip to Thailand? And be honest with yourself too. And if you're honest with yourself, you'll probably be surprised with some of the amazing results that you can get. Number nine is a question that I think you should ask yourself. And that is, do I want to stay single or do I want to get into a relationship? And this is a question that you should ask yourself because when you're out in Thailand, you know, you're going to come up across with, uh, you know, a lot of people throughout your time in Thailand. And if you're only here for maybe a couple months, uh, you know, you could do whatever you want. But me personally, I've been single. I've been single for a long time. Uh, but if you wanted to come out to Thailand just for a few months and you end up getting into a relationship, just keep that in mind. That could be a real big heartbreak if you have to go back to your home country for whatever reason. Maybe your visa runs out. Maybe your work permit is finished. Uh, for whatever reason, you know, just keep that in mind that you might not be able to stay in Thailand forever. <laughs> so uh, if you do decide to get into a relationship out here, uh, it's very, very difficult to uh, bring someone from Thailand to America. So just keep that in mind if uh, you do get into a relationship with a with a Thai lady and if you do decide to move from America to Thailand and uh, you make that move based on a relationship just keep that in mind not every relationship is forever so just keep that in mind and the last question that you should ask yourself before you move to Thailand is why do I want to move to Thailand so make sure you're honest with yourself and you ask yourself why do I want to move to Thailand you know, is it because you want to start a whole new adventure in your life or is it because, you know, you're trying to run away from something? So just keep that in mind, you know, be honest with yourself. And uh, one bonus tip that I'll give you that I think you should be aware of is I don't think that you should move to Thailand right away. I think if you are interested in living in Thailand, you should come out to Thailand for, let's say, two weeks or three weeks to test it out. And if you do like it, then maybe you can contemplate moving out to Thailand full time. So either way, thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope this video was educational for you. And if you're interested in hiring a tour guide when you come out to Thailand, make sure to send me an email and I'll either help you personally or if I'm not available, I'll make sure that someone takes care of you while you're here in Thailand. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.